Hi guys, today we talk about uh, S2 engine collision system. Okay, <clears throat> first if you click on colliders button on top of uh, scene viewport, you see the colliders of the scene. Okay, <clears throat> now I create uh, now we uh, we will see uh, how to uh, create uh, a static collider for the scene uh, it has a collider for static meshes of the scene so I create a static mesh from scratch to create a static mesh we have to uh, uh, create a mesh object I choose a mesh for the mesh object see this ok and I place it into the scene uh, as you can see now uh, the static mesh has no collider so if I start the game the player don't doesn't collide with the mesh okay now um, to make uh, the mesh be a collider I have a collider uh, you have to click on collide uh, flag for make it true if you make collide true the engine creates a collider and automatically uh, set its dimensions in order to fit the uh, mesh if you want to change the dimensions of the created box collider the system create box collider as default if you want to change dimensions of the box collider you have to set uh, dims parameter uh, the first value is the dimension of the box collider along the x axis the second along the, z, uh, the y axis and the third along the zeta axis x, y, zeta axis so if I make this 200 I will see the box increase dimension along the x axis the same for the y axis and for zeta axis if you set all the values of dimensions parameter the system reset the uh, dimensions of the collider in order to fit again the object mesh uh, you can set also you can change also the um, position of uh, the um, collider relative to the object using the offset parameter if I uh, change the y value of the offset parameter for example with 200 I see the collider goes on top of the object by 200 centimeters okay if I want uh, the system to reset the collider dimension and offset I have to uh, put again set again uh, the uh, parameters of dimension to zero okay the box uh, 
Collider is not the only collider you can set for a static uh, object. You can set also cylinder, sphere and mesh collider type. Character collider type is a special kind of uh, collider that can be set only for character objects. We see it in a later tutorial. Um, in a future tutorial. Okay, so if I select cylinder, I see uh, the shape of the collider change into a cylinder. In the case of cylinder, uh, the um, uh, the first two value, the first two value values of the DIMS parameter are valid, valid. The third parameter is unused. Only the first and the second parameter are used. The first parameter is the radius of the cylinder. The second parameter is the height of the cylinder. As in the case of the box collider, if I put all dimensions parameter, also the third parameter, to zero, the engine will reset uh, the dimensions of the uh, collider in order to make it to fit the object. Also in this case I can set uh, the offset of the uh, collision, co uh, collision shape of the collider. Um, also in this case to reset all I have to set uh, dimension to zero. The same uh, we can say about sphere uh, collider type. Uh, in the case of a sphere uh, only the first parameter of dimension parameter, the, the first value of uh, DIMS parameter is used and it is the radius of the sphere. If I put, if I set 200, uh, the sphere will increase its radius. Uh, okay. Um, also in this case we can set a different offset. Okay. Okay. Um, the last uh, uh, type of collider is the mesh collider. In the case of mesh collider, you have to set mesh uh, collision type, uh, but you have to also set the collision mesh. Collision mesh parameter. In this case, we can use the same mesh we have used for rendering the object, but uh, you can use uh, the mesh you want, for example, an optimized, an optimized mesh. Uh, when you set the collision mesh for refreshing the uh, the, the, the collision mesh for refreshing the collider you have to click on the object or move a bit it ok uh, we have set the mesh collider if I try now I will see the uh, player colliding the object and try to avoid him ok ok uh, take in mind that in the case of collision meshes uh, if you scale the object the mesh object the mesh of the object, uh, 
collision uh, shape, a collision mesh is not uh, scaled. Uh, this is a limitation I'm trying to solve uh, for the future, but for now it is not possible. So in this case I suggest to use uh, other type of colliders, uh, for example box or cylinder uh, or sphere but not a uh, mesh collider. Mm. Ok. Uh, the last thing, uh, the last thing, if uh, uh, you want uh, to have uh, collisions without uh, um, having a rendering mesh, if you want to make the collider invisible, you can uh, make it. Uh, you can make visible flag to false, and uh, eventually also cut the mesh from the object. In this case, uh, you have only the collider. This can be useful when you want to uh, uh, to make player uh, don't go uh, away from your uh, level map. Uh, for example, in this case, I could increase the dimension of the collider. and uh, uh, make player don't go uh, don't go after this point okay don't go um, behind the collider um, for now, uh, I think it's all. Uh, the next time uh, we um, we um, I I explain I will explain uh, I will show other features of uh, the uh, collision system also I talk about uh, uh, collisions of uh, uh, dynamic object uh, for example collision of uh, character and collision of uh, rigid body uh, rigid bodies um, okay for now is all uh, thank you for watching uh, bye